Hello and welcome to Orient Outreach. I'm your host, Stacey Calloway, and today I'm joined by Roger Broder, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he is the co-chair of the Jubilee um, Carnival. So talk to yeah. me about how did the Jubilee actually come about? So we've been doing it for so many years, I think people have lost track on how many we actually have. It's well beyond 50 years of having the, the, the Jubilee, what we call the Jubilee with the carnival and a beer tent for many years and then the beer tent went away for a while and we brought it back okay. and then for a, for a couple of years while they were doing construction downtown on the roads and uh, we moved it over to Canterbury Village for a couple of years and uh, now we're back downtown again. Okay. First time in, well, we had the carnival oh, yeah. last year. We didn't have it at all in 2020. Mm -hmm. And so this is the first beer tent year again since 2019. Okay, so. and, and when you think about Jubilee, I know when I think of it, I think of celebration. So you have the carnival. Give us the dates when it actually um, starts. So we start this Thursday, okay. the 23rd. And the, I took a lot of notes because we have so much going on this week, I can't keep it straight in my head, so okay. I don't know how anybody else would. Uh -huh. So Thursday, we're open from 5 to 10, the carnival, mm -hmm. and the beer tents open to five, from 5 to 11. We have a DJ on Thursday night, okay. and a lot of other entertainment I can kind of tell you about. But Friday and Saturday, the carnival's open from noon to 11, mm -hmm. and then Sunday, the carnival's open from 12 to 6. And how do, be, how do people get tickets to be a part of the Jubilee? So you can get tickets on site. You can either buy tickets or a wristband, mm -hmm. or you can go to skerbeck.com, S-K-E-R-B-E-C-K. -E -E That's the carnival company. Okay. They run the tickets for the carnival. All right. And, and then talk to us about how much does it cost to attend the event. So the tickets, the wristbands are 30 bucks. I'm not sure how much the individual tickets are. Okay. But the wristbands are $30, and they're good any time except from... Uh, after five on Saturday. So is it good that for that tickets. whole the, the whole span? Like it's one day. One it day is a one wristband. day. Okay. Yeah, wristband each day. And so that gets you into ride some of the some of the rides that they have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And there's and like any carnival, they have all the fun stuff where you can games right. a chance. You know, mm -hmm. throw the shoot the balloons and water pistols and all that kind of stuff. The okay. usual carnival game. So okay. it's a lot of fun downtown. And it's a great family event. Which which one would you say that people really need to, is your biggest attraction, why people come out to the Jubilee? Oh, I think the whole thing, it just, you go downtown, there's so much going on. It brings people together that haven't been in town in a while, a lot of visiting families, and it's kind of like a big reunion in, in Lake Orion. Okay. We run into so many people that have been coming for years, they wouldn't miss it, so. And it's downtown, so how many streets do you guys um, take over? We block off the main intersection okay. along Flint and Broadway, mm -hmm. and the first block in each direction. And then we also have the par a couple of the parking lots, and uh, the uh, parking lot down by Children's Park mm -hmm. is where we have the beer tent set up. Okay, and so let's talk about beer, since you have the beer tent. <laughs> I like talking about okay, beer. <laughs> let's talk about beer. So what are some of the, um, the specialties, some of the, the beers that you guys are advertising? Actually, I was just talking with the beer distributor a minute ago, and okay. so we're going to have some of the seltzers. We've got wine. We have um, a couple of different beers from Rochester Mills Brewery, mm -hmm. as well as the usual Bud, Bud Light okay. um, and Ultra. And so... A good variety of beers and seltzers and wines. And so I'm thinking, like since it's a Jubilee, they should maybe make a mix for a Jubilee, like something for people to try, maybe just to, you know, kind of um, advertise a little more or get more donations. What do you think? Well, you mean a mix of... Just, just some of, kind of Jubilee, maybe a mix of different beers? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of work for us. Getting into something like that would take far more than, okay, than well, we maybe can do at this point. But Down uh, the line. Yeah. Right. But... Um, but we, what we've done is put together enough activities and fun stuff for everyone. Okay. So it's not just come to the beer tent and drink beer. Okay. We have a number of different games and activities, especially this year more than ever mm -hmm. than we did in the past. So we're going to have a, we have a long, almost like a shuffleboard table. You can slide a beer stein down there. We'll have a competition on that. Okay. We're going to have cornhole boards set up, and you throw the bags, and whoever gets the best score over an hour, okay. we'll have some prizes for that. Nice. Uh, we're going to have 50-50 raffles. 
We're even going to have a magician stop by now and then and do a little show okay. uh, when the band's not playing, mm -hmm. you know, before the band plays. And so a lot of different things. A lot of you different might even, things. You might even see me playing DJ a little bit and okay. up there with some of my some <laughs> Spotify playlists. <All> right. <laughs> not that I'm an ask, expert. but. And that's <laughs> the thing, too. You have a DJ. So what kind of music um, do you guys ex anticipate oh, well, you can bring? Anybody in town that thinks DJ in Lake Orion knows Kevin Wynn. Okay. So Kevin is going to be our DJ, and he brings a lot to the table. He does not only music, but he does karaoke. Mm -hmm. He also teaches line dancing and other dancing at different places okay. around town where, that he works. So okay. he brings a good crowd with him. He's a lot of fun to, nice. fun to watch. So he's on Thursday night. Okay. Um, starting at seven o'clock, and so. he's he's kicking it off. So he's kicking it off. So it's let's talk fun. about this. You mentioned crowds. This, you know, of course, last year, what was the um, what was the crowd? The the amount of people you guys had that that time? Yeah, I think at, at the beer tent, I can say we had three four hundred people in okay. the beer tent okay. on uh, especially Friday and Saturday night. Thursday mm -hmm. night gets a couple hundred, I would say. And, and if the weather is nice, you're probably oh, anticipating more. Yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely, and of course. There's the fireworks at 10 o'clock on Saturday night. That right there, the beer tent's a great place to see the fireworks. We have a big open okay. space mm -hmm. next to the beer tent and clear view of the fireworks. Okay. So that draws a lot of people as well. Now, you also mentioned um, there are fireworks on that Saturday. And mm -hmm. what about the flare night? Talk to me about that. So flare night's the following week. Okay. So on July 1st, um, it's always the, the Friday before the Friday of 4th of July weekend. Mm -hmm. And it's been going on since right after World War II. That's wow. when it started. And it's a Lions Club fundraiser. We sell the thousands of flares. And people all over the lake, the homeowners set up their lakeshore, line up flares along there. So it lights up the whole out outer perimeter of the lake in red. And uh, that's it's, what I was about to say. It's what really color? amazing. It's really amazing okay. to see. Um, from a boat or especially from the air if you get that opportunity mm -hmm. somehow and uh, that's July 1st so we're selling flares at Wonder Cleaners on Lapeer Road and also Ed's Broadway uh, gifts on okay. right downtown. And how much are the flares? Uh, oh I knew okay. you were going to ask we're me that, put that and in. I don't we'll, remember. We'll put that in. That's okay. <laughs> All this information is on our website or okay. on our Facebook page. And give us give so us. So um, if you go to Lake Orion Lions Club okay. look on Facebook look up Lake Orion Lions Club like the page so you'll see all our events but go to the events um, category on Facebook and you'll see all the information there. Talk to us about um, the Jubilee Carnivals uh, with the Lake Orion Lions Club in the sense of um, donations. Like where do all the donations go? Oh, so we we take, we make, this is one of our biggest fundraisers and mm -hmm. unfortunately we didn't have very much success in the last two years for obvious reasons. But we help, um, obviously, uh, Leader Dog for the Blind is one of the big places. That's a, that's a Lions Club, started by Lions Club and sponsored by Lions Clubs. Uh, Bear Lake Blind Camp, north of Lapeer, helping kids that are blind and some that have ju juvenile di diabetes, okay. um, helping them go to camp like other kids do, like you would expect kids to enjoy doing in the summer. Uh, we help people get glasses and hearing aids when they need help. Um, a lot of emergency services type of things like that and and there are other charities that we donate to as well as um, local you know some baseball teams locally and um, senior all-night party mm -hmm. and we have scholarships for Lake Orion graduates for college okay. uh, a lot of different local stuff as well as other charity work that we do. So if people let's say for instance they wanted to donate maybe um, across the country and they're not able to attend is there a way that they can do that? Certainly, yeah. If you go to our Facebook, I'm sorry, our website, okay, uh, LakeOrionLions.com, um, dot org. Okay. I do that every time. LakeOrionLions.org. Okay. Okay. If you go to our website, there's a donate button at the bottom. And certainly for the fireworks, we're a little shy on donations this year okay. uh, compared to other years. So, we're and certainly. Do you have a number of that. how much you guys have for the fireworks now? As, in terms of as far total? as how much, no, I don't have no okay. total. But you need more, so if oh, people yeah. need to donate, they can just everything helps okay. absolutely. All right. Mm -hmm. So how do you get people to to help you? How do you get people to continue to be a part of the Lions Club and just do this work? We keep them busy. Okay. You know, people want to help others. Mm -hmm. So I've had a lot of people come and say, I'm 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 bored. I'm retired. I'm, you know, my kids are grown, or even if they're not, I mean, I still have high schooler. Okay. Um, 
and, and I've been doing this for 12 years, so my kids were nine when I started being a lion. So we're very flexible. What do you want to do? When do you want to do it? You know, it's, it's all about your family first, and we don't have any strict criteria about when and what you have to do. You do what you want to do and have fun doing it. And so that's, and that's the key. Like, what makes you, what motivates you to do this work? How does it make you feel just doing this? Well, I feel that keeping it local is the best way. Okay. As soon as it's spread out to big organizations and governments, it's not as efficient as we can do locally. So if someone in our own community needs help, we're the best to help them. And we've done things with Love Inc. and a number of other churches and a number, number of local organizations teaming up together. And you're, it's un, we're unstoppable then. We can do anything. That's right. Do people reach out to you when they need help? Absolutely. Okay. It, yeah. They, they come to us when they need help. And um, sometimes we hear through the schools, a lot of it's that way, mm -hmm. that a family needs help or an individual child needs help or something. Then okay. we're able to take care of it. So what's mm -hmm. the biggest thing you can tell someone who, you know, just to, to donate? Like what's the, what's the overall message or the one word that you would use to ask someone like, hey, come out here, come support us? I'd say keeping it local. Keep it local. Keep it local. Uh, we, we do a, a lot of work in this community and mm -hmm. I think we're well known for that. Most yeah. people know that. Gordon and strong. We, yeah, mm -hmm. we take care of our own. You okay. know, that's a priority for us. All right. Take care of our community. And then you mentioned earlier how you guys have a lot of activities, a lot of things that will attract people. How did you guys come about getting that? Like do people, um, you know, whether or not it's local or not, say, hey, we want to we want to donate this to you or we want this piece of equipment. We think people are going to like this particular mm -hmm. ride. How do you how do you figure out what to put in the carnival? Ideas from other carnivals, other Lions Club events, mm -hmm. other, you know, other communities that they'd run things and uh, just our members coming up with ideas. Um, in 2021, we ran a scavenger hunt for kids. Okay. So kids ages 6 to 12. We have a scavenger hunt. They go around to all the local businesses. Mm -hmm. And they had a great time. We had a fantastic turnout. Okay. That was just one of our newest members came to us and said, I'd like to run a scavenger hunt. Nice. So we're doing it again this year. And not only, is it, not only does it help us mm -hmm. and the kids have fun, they're going and taking their parents with them to all those local businesses. So we're supporting supporting the DDA the businesses. businesses as well. Nice, very nice. So well, everybody wins. Exactly. Well, so we that's that's Saturday from six. I'm sorry, from noon to two thirty. Okay. And then we have we have prizes for okay. that, and we're going to have some surprise guests. So okay, surprise. Last, I was going to ask Last year, you. Batman was there. <laughs> I think Superman was there last year. Okay. We're going to have some other surprise guests. Um, Princess Jocelyn, the new, the newly crowned princess at Canterbury Village. So depending on Possibly what time, will show up. just pop in. Yeah, so okay. there's a lot going on during the day. Okay. We're going to have a magician around town. Mm -hmm. He's going to be doing some tricks for, for people, and it's, it's going to well, be a lot of fun. You certainly have your hands you know, full and, and a lot of things to take care of. How long does it take to prepare something like this? Would you say it's couple of months or when do you guys start working? We start working on, you know, we have to, we have a lot of things that have to be um, planned ahead of time to get it scheduled. A lot of this we started working on back in January or so, but really the biggest part, that's all, you know, a little bit here and there. The biggest part starts Wednesday. We'll shut the streets down. They start setting up the carnival. Mm -hmm. The parking lots shut down. We get the, the beer tent set up and and uh, the big work comes on Wednesday morning, What's 6 a.m. What's that feeling? <laughs> What's that feeling Wednesday morning when you're like, okay, this is, this is about to happen? It's mayhem. Okay. <laughs> it's mayhem. It's just, wow, we have this huge list of things to do all day Wednesday, and, okay. and hopefully we're ready to go when the carnival opens at uh, 5 o'clock on Thursday. Yeah, well, you certainly have 12 years' experience doing it, so uh, I'm sure it'll be time. successful. Yeah, it's been a long time that we've run this, so. We're getting better at it. All right. And so do you have anything else that you want to add about? I would just say there's come down all day long. There are things going on. It's not just a carnival and come drink beer. We will have leader dogs down there. Learn what it's like to um, raise a leader dog mm -hmm. and possibly do it yourself. Um, kids site. We check kids' eyes. Okay. We have a tent set up and we just take a picture of their eyes and, and can give you a readout on various measurements of their eyes and if you need a referral to an ophthalmologist. Okay. Um, we're having a canned food drive on Saturday. 
that's that's happening all day. And what, um, what happens there? They Do they donate one or two canned foods and then they're able to get on a ride? How does that work? No, we just, it's just, you just know, for the, just donations the for the for the food banks. Okay, and um, it's certainly needed right now, fish. especially with everything that's going on right now. Certainly, with the high prices of everything now, everybody's mm -hmm. having trouble. So, and like I said, a lot of different games and things at the beer tent, and it's at various points we'll have the magician down there doing okay. doing uh, shows and. Um, so you've got family activities and activities for the adults. Yeah. With the music yeah, absolutely. and the beer. Yeah, we keep everybody busy. Keep them so busy. And also, the we're teaming up with the Knights of Columbus. They're going to do uh, food. They're going to be grilling down at the beer tent. Okay. Um, the uh, the VFW guys are going to be over there uh, selling waters. Mm -hmm. So that's they're they're collecting donations for that. Boy Scouts are collecting all the wow. beer cans at the end of each day so okay. that they get their donations. Right. So we're trying to help everybody, yeah, you know, trying to like spread, the, spread the load here, spread the wealth. Spread the wealth. <laughs> well, certainly we wish you all the best of luck with this. It sounds, I, I know I've attended in, in years past and certainly want to come out um, this weekend to do this. So definitely come out, support the Jubilee um, Carnival. And that'll do it for this edition of Orient Outreach. I'm your host, Stacey Calloway. Thanks again for watching.